After three years, the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office announced a decision about this incident you're seeing on your screen. The question was whether to press charges against a police officer who shot an unarmed 13-year-old. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to the boy's family who says the city let them down. Pull your hands out, dude. Pull your hands out. After three years of hoping for justice for their 13 year old shot running away from Salt Lake City Police. Ever since then, he's just never been the same. The family finally got their answer from the DA's office. It feels like in a way that the city's let us down. On Friday, the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office called the use of deadly force unjustifiable. However, Sim Gill said the county will not be pressing charges. This was an avoidable shooting that did not need to ex escalate to the point where lethal force was used. In September 2020, Golda Barton called 911 asking for crisis intervention officers, officers trained to respond to mental health calls to help her 13-year-old. When they arrived, the boy ran, which led to a police pursuit on foot. When an officer turned a corner, he told the boy to get on the ground and fired 11 shots, hitting the teen six times. To hear that, tell my mom I love her, tell my brother I love her, like, he genuinely feared that he was in his last moments of life. After watching the body cam footage, that officer told investigators, I'm thinking he has a gun. He's going to try to kill me or kill someone else. The investigation found that the 13 year old was not armed and didn't even have an object on him that could resemble a gun. It's disgusting to hear that the officer said that because I don't know, I that Lyndon was walking away from him, you know, and to hear this now about no charges being filed. I mean, it's outrageous. This investigation ran into two conflicting reports from expert reviews, one saying the use of force was inappropriate the other saying it was reasonable. Now these opposing opinions played an influential role as to why the DA's office chose to not press charges. We also are confronted with a statute that makes it almost near impossible for us to prosecute, to meet our burden of proof. Salt Lake City Police declined an interview but sent a statement saying the department is reviewing the findings and an internal review remains ongoing. They say that since then, SLCPD has, quote, invested in and provided more resources for officers when they respond to people living with a mental health illness or are in crisis. Last year, the city reached a $3 million settlement with the boy's family. According to the Salt Lake Tribune, that's the largest amount reached in city history. But the family also wanted to see police held accountable through criminal charges. We just wanted to see that Lyndon actually got justice for himself. In Salt Lake City, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.